rainy and windy day today but still it's still a good day for photography actually bad conditions might be perfect to create unique images that we cannot make in good sunny weather but shooting in these conditions has some risks to our camera gear that we're going to be addressing today in this video i'm going to be telling you what i do to protect my camera gear and try to make the most uh, of these days i'm not an expert on this though so i want to hear what you do and your tips and uh, hacks and whatever of course the more waterproof your camera gear is the better for example i'm shooting this video with a gopro which can go underwater so it's going to be more than fine in this rain and even though photography is totally doable uh, with action cameras or phones i'm not a big fan myself i rather use cameras that have uh, photography more in mind when it comes to proper cameras for photography every camera is different uh, some are better weather sealed than others but at the end of the day i believe that you want to keep them as dry as possible just in case so the first obvious option to keep them dry is to use an umbrella i've tried that many times in the past and uh, it's never worked out for me i'm not giving up why could you i rarely find myself in a situation where it's raining and i can use an umbrella because it's usually very windy like right now an umbrella would be totally useless here but hey it might be useful to have one in the car just in case i don't have one uh, with me today so i can't pretend that i'm using one but yeah you get the point another option i've tried in the past is to use uh, underwater cases i used it for my a6000 and it works uh, obviously uh, the camera stays dry but they are designed for to use with a specific combination of camera and lens in the case of the a6000 was with the kit lens so it didn't really work uh, for me because i want to be able to use uh, other lenses all my lenses actually so i've been using the sigma 30 millimeter uh, lens here because it's the only one that fits in here so the best solution I found so far is also the simplest and the cheapest and is to use a plastic bag. You can use a grocery shop bag. I bought some plastic bags that were designed just for cameras so they fit the cameras better. But as I said, you can use regular plastic bags for this. They will keep your camera gear very dry for the most part and that's all you need i made a couple holes in my plastic bags one for the viewfinder so i can still use it another one for the tripod plate for the tripod mount so i can still mount the camera on the tripod and i find it uh, very useful and uh, almost uh, the perfect solution for shooting in the rain and the snow <sighs> it's also very cold out there today that's why I find having a car, using a car for photography during bad weather very useful because I can drive to different spots, I can get out there for a few minutes, take a few shots, come back. If I'm wet, I can change, I can drive my camera gear, I can just get warm. I mean, just take a break from the rain before going out again. This is the first time that I use this setup to record videos with the uh, microphone on top of the GoPro. And I just realized that that dead cat is showing up in some of the shots and so yeah if you see something on top of the frame that's uh, the dead cat from the microphone I'll try to figure out a way to uh, keep it uh, out of the frame somehow my camera bag comes with a built-in rain cover as uh, you can see, it's basically a plastic bag for the backpack. I've been using it for years, many times in the rain and snow, and it's worked perfectly fine. I just kept my camera gear dry. So once again, the simplest and the cheapest solution. In the end, no matter how much you prepare for the bad conditions, no matter how much care you want to take of your camera gear, there is always the risk of uh, getting it wet. There is always a risk of damaging your cameras and your lenses when you're shooting in bad weather. Whether it's worth it or not to risk your camera gear for a few shots, it's up to you. For me, it's about finding the right balance between the potential for a good shot, for a good image, and the potential for uh, damage. That's also one of the main reasons why I don't use expensive gear. I like to use cameras and lenses that I can afford to replace if they break or if they get wet. 
if my camera were at three, four, five thousand dollars, I would think twice, three or four times before taking it out in these conditions, for sure. Also, I wanted to point out that I'm spending money on this trip, a lot of money actually, to be here in northern Washington. We had to drive thousands of miles and that costs money on gas, lodging and all the logistics involved in this. So camera gear, when you think about it, or at least my kit, is the least expensive part of all of this. My point being uh, that the health of my camera lenses is not my first priority uh, when it comes to uh, making images. This place was hard to get to, expensive to get to. I'm not gonna be here for much longer. I only have so many hours and days here. So I'm gonna use the camera gear that I have even if that involves some risk when it comes to damaging, losing or breaking it. Oh look, there is someone here. Hello. Look out. You might remember this camera. This is the RX100 Mark II. It's not only an old camera, but it's barely working now. So it's the one that I'm going to be using now. It's raining quite a bit now, and I don't want to risk my other cameras for these images so this is the perfect camera to use here the images still look good when the camera works of course so yeah all right so i switched to my a7r2 again because this is like a more protected spot here from the uh, rain and the wind but it was a little bit sketchy to get down there and that brings me to the last point that i wanted to mention today we've been talking about the safety of your camera gear during bad weather but the most important thing the first priority should always be your own safety so this that we are experiencing today is a winter storm. Here at the coast, that means a, a lot of rain, wind, and cold too. But a little bit farther away inland, they're getting a lot of snow today. Heavy, heavy snow. And as much as I love snow, my safety is the reason why I'm here today at the coast and not in the mountains. Uh, driving in windy mountain roads is the last thing I want to do in the middle of a snowstorm. Driving during bad conditions is not a good idea. If you still want to photograph a snowstorm or a blizzard, what I would recommend you to do is to keep an eye on the forecast and when you see that that is going to happen, go to the location that you want to photograph the day before or a couple of days before. I did this uh, three years ago at the Badlands National Park in South Dakota. I was expecting a big storm with a lot of snow and that's what happened. But I never drove through the storm. I never uh, drove on really bad roads. I was already at the park when that happened. So I was able to photograph those amazing winter landscapes in a safe way. Isn't this place just beautiful? And this rain and this mist are making it even more beautiful. That's why I wanted to encourage you to get out there even if the weather is not the best, even if it's a nasty day like today, because there are always images to be made out there. And on days like today, those can be very, very unique. So you can see there is no one else making images here today. Use common sense, be careful out there, and remember that no image is worth risking your life. But your camera gear? Maybe, because that's what it's for, it's to create images, not to stay at home. So don't limit yourself to just sunny and clear and warm days. Get out there when it's cold, when it's rainy, when it's snowing. There are very unique opportunities uh, out there waiting for you. And now I'm gonna head back to the car because it is freezing out here. I need to get warm, but I'm gonna keep making photos that I'm gonna be showing you in the next video, hopefully. Thank you so much for watching again. and See you in the next one.